One day, during an attempt to modify an Atari 2600, a freak accident caused a tear in the space-time continuum. Now, stuck in a partially collapsed infinite temporal loop, Duke is trying to repair the torn time fragments and get back to the present. Trapped within the Atari and accompanying him on his mission, the disembodied spirit of the 1980s, 9T-AT, is helping Duke relive his childhood memories to repair the fractured timeline. If Duke cannot remember the key elements that shaped his childhood and escaped the temporal loop, then the 1980s will never have existed. All right, 9TAT, you got the camera set up. I'm feeling rather ambitious today. Can we try something really big? Do you remember Transformers? Transformers. Transformers. I think that little guy up there is a Transformer, am I right? Yes. Yes, I knew it. But I'm going to need some more help, I think. Watch this. The Transformers, more than meets the eye. Autobots plays their penalty. The Transformers from Hasbro. How could I have forgotten about Transformers? Transformers were such a huge part of my childhood. I was borderline obsessed with them. And the cartoon was fantastic. Let's, uh, let's just talk about conceptually. I mean, why did it take them so long to come up with the idea of giant robots turning into awesome vehicles? I mean, it's, it's brilliant. And the show was so good. It was so well drawn, so well animated. And the voice acting was superb. You know, story-wise, it got a little funny sometimes. Uh, a lot of times the episodes didn't make a lot of sense or they're kind of wacky. But I absolutely loved it. I really did. And the characters, I mean, you don't get any better than Optimus Prime as a, a leader and the voice acting and just his stature and his presence. Jazz, organize a battle unit. We're going after them. He was the perfect character to lead the Autobots and to, that's the good guys, to the layperson. But he was just such an awesome character. How, how do you not love Optimus Prime? <laughs> Thanks. And they did a really good job with all the different characters. They all had their own personalities, and somehow the personalities seemed to fit what they changed into, and it was just fantastic. And oh my gosh, the bad guys, uh, the Decepticons uh, with Starscream always fighting with uh, Megatron. You're an idiot, Starscream. I am the leader of the future. You couldn't lead androids to a picnic. I mean, just brilliant stuff. I mean, you just loved it. It was just so good. And for me, it was all about the transformations. I absolutely, that was my favorite part of the show. In fact, I used to videotape the shows and then watch them transform in slow motion because I was just enamored with it. I thought it was the coolest thing in the world. And I was just fascinated with how all the parts fit together and how they turned into the vehicles. And when they were robots, you can kind of see how it all worked out. I just thought it was just brilliant. In fact, there's one of my favorite scenes, and I think it's season one, where there's a panning shot of all the Autobots on like a cliff. And the camera just goes across, and they're all just transforming down into their vehicles. And I just thought that was so epic. I used to rewind that and watch it in slow motion, like, over and over. It was just so cool to me. Pow! Tailbreaker! Wheeljack! Ironhide! Mirage! Sunstreaker! Side swipe! Let's roll! So then the Transformers become so popular that they release a major motion picture in the theaters. And I'm not just talking about like an extended cartoon that they throw on the big screen. This was a major epic release with like big actors playing the voices like Leonard Nimoy and uh, Orson Welles and Judd Nelson I think it is uh, playing one of the voices. I think he played Hot Rod. And uh, this, they kicked up the animation a notch, and this was just unbelievable to see in the theaters as a kid. It was totally epic, and it had an awesome soundtrack with, like, you know, hair band music and everything. 
which you know is a little dated now, but I, I just absolutely love it. It is so cool and so 80s, and it is like the quintessential 80s movie to me. there were the toys. I had a ton of Transformer toys as a kid. Now wait a minute, before we get trigger happy 1980, let's work together on this. All right? All right, I remember Soundwave. Hit me. Oh, there he is. Oh, awesome. I loved him so much as a kid. He was probably one of my favorite uh, Transformer toys because I thought he looked so epic as a robot. And I loved him in the cartoon because he had that awesome voice. Oh, oh, do um, do laser beak eject. Laser beak eject. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. Now do a uh, rumble eject. Rumble eject. <laughs> yes. Now do enough. Sorry, but his uh, his vehicle vehicle mode was uh, he turned into a, a boombox, a tape player, and that's where all his uh, his little friends came out of his of his uh, tape deck here when you hit the eject button. So they all fit inside of there. And you can get different ones. It was really cool. Really cool idea. Let's see if I can transform him here. It's been a while. And there you have it. There is the Decepticon sound wave in his vehicle mode or boombox mode. And you can hit the little eject button there and put the little tapes in there. Super cool toy. Uh, let's see who else. Uh, I remember Perceptor. Oh, there he is. Uh, awesome. Now he is a, a microscope and he's an Autobot, uh, but he was cool because he turned into a, a microscope that actually kind of worked. Where's, uh, where's the scope though? And the little adjuster wheels and all. <sighs> Cheapskate. What? Hmm? I remember the, the red and yellow sports car, uh, I think it was hot, hot Rod. That's it, Hot Rod. Hit me. Oh, he, I love this one. This one was so cool because now he gets a bad rap because in the movie he became Rodimus Prime and took over Optimus Prime's position as leader and he got a lot of flack for that. But I always liked this one a lot. Not only was this a really cool toy, I thought he was a pretty good character in the show as well. But this one I thought, I mean, they got really good with the designs as time went on. And he looks great, as you can see, as a robot. <laughs> I drop something every time. Anyway, he looks really good as a robot. Um, as you can see, but he also looks really good as a car. And all, they did a really good job with all the toys, as and mostly in the vehicle modes. I think they probably started with the design in the vehicle modes and then figured out how to make them into a robot. Some of the earlier ones look a little wonky as robots, but as time went on, they got really good at making these toys. So we'll go ahead and transform him, and I'll show you what I mean. <laughs> it's so funny. I remember as a kid, I used to get frustrated because I could never transform them as fast as they transformed in the cartoon. In the cartoon, they just transformed down in like, you know, two seconds, and they made that awesome sound effect. So I could never get my sound effects to match up with how long it took. So I was like, you know, Come on, head. <laughs> For real? I'm saying, I used to get so mad about that when I was a kid. I wanted to just go, but anyway, look how awesome that looks as a car. I mean, what a what a cool looking toy. I mean, these were just so awesome. I was I was a nutty kid. My, my mom probably had her ear on my bedroom door, like, what what is he doing in there? <laughs> um, honey, uh, he's in his bedroom alone again, uh, making those weird noises. I I don't know what's wrong with him. Yeah, I spoke to the doctor. He said it's probably just that he's crazy.
I even remember having the carrying case with some of the smaller Transformers in there. 98T, hit me kind sir. Oh, thank you. We're getting good at this. Oh, look at this, look at this artwork. That is just fantastic. Let's see what's in here. Oh man, so cool. Kind of an example of the wonkier ones. This was an earlier one. This is a Ratchet, and he is an ambulance and vehicle mode, but that is supposed to be robot mode. I think it looks pretty cool. It's got kind of a cool stance, but his head's kind of like a sticker in the window there, which you don't see much of that anymore in the later ones, but still pretty cool. Then you got, oh yeah, these smaller ones, uh, much more affordable ones, because these were pretty expensive as a kid. Um, you had to get them for like Christmas and stuff, because they were really expensive to buy with allowance money. But this is Beachcomber, I believe his name is, a little dune buggy. So these are much simpler. They just, these I could do, you know, boom, just like that. Dune buggy, pretty cool. Then I remember these, these were, um, you, you snapped them back like this and uh, you pulled them back and they would have a spring and they would transform by themselves. Now these are very simple, um, kind of a gimmick, but I, I liked it a lot because I remember thinking I could sit back and watch it transform all by itself. And I had this, um, I don't remember his name, but uh, he's a, a jet, kind of a smaller version of Starscream, I think. I think Starscream was a, a bigger one. I never had Starscream, just this guy here. There you go, pretty quick transformation. Awesome. Let's see, is he a Autobot or Decepticon? He's a jet, so I'm gonna guess Decepticon. You gotta put your thumb on these little stickers and it reveals. <sighs> this one's old, <laughs> it's not working. I'm guessing he's a Decepticon. I don't remember his name though. Oh no, he's an Autobot. There's a symbol on his wings. And there he is back in robot mode. They're not all winners, but they're all pretty cool. What else can I say about Transformers? If I had to pick one cartoon series and toy line that defined my childhood, it has to be Transformers. Big robots, awesome vehicles, great characters. It just doesn't get any better than that for me. Wow, 98T, you outdid yourself this time. I asked for a big one and you sure did deliver. This was so much fun. This time fragments has been fully repaired. That's what I'm talking about. Come on, man. Just do one more for me. No. Please. Just say it. Say Ravage Eject. Sorry. But you sound just like Soundwave. Ravage Eject. <laughs> All right. I love you, man.